I think you deserve two kisses after the way you've just treated me. Gosh, Peggy, I couldn't be sure your dad wasn't home till you answered me. I haven't forgotten the last time he caught me here and how he promised to nail my eye to the barn if he ever caught me near you again. But that was over six months ago. Yes, I know, but uh, he's not likely to greet me any higher now. Why? What have you been doing since you left? Working steady, horse breaking. Oh, Tom! That's worth five dollars a head. Oh, you must have made a pile of money. Some weeks, a couple of hundred. Isn't that marvelous? Now you can start that little spread of your own, like we planned, like we... Peggy, I'm a low-down good for nothing. When I drew the money out of the bank, I... It didn't look big enough, and I... Uh, I tried to double it. Oh, you mean you gambled? Yes, on the horse race. Oh, Tom. How much did you lose? All I had, about two thousand. Two thousand dollars? Peggy, please don't cry. Don't. Oh, Tom, I'm afraid you failed me. Couldn't be two plates at once, could I? What are you all fussing about? Oh, nothing. It's uh, the curtains. The darn things never did hang straight. Well, uh, what of it? You're always fussing with something. Seems to me you're all woman, Peg. Well, it's my fault I wasn't born a boy. You can't hold that against me. I don't know such thing. Well, I'm considered the most generous, most kind-hearted man in these here parts. Of course you are. Well, what happened in town? Did you have any trouble? We're about to lose the ranch. You mean Morley would take it? Maybe. These bankers are a hard lot. After 20 years of hard work. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. And all for the lack of a measly thousand dollars. Well, did Morley say what he was going to do? No. 
He talked mostly about you. About me? Yes. Said how sweet you were. And the world a gal in the valley could touch you for looks. Not spunk. I can't imagine Jim Morley going romantic. The only girl he ever thought about was the one on the dollar. Well, he never said anything like that to me. Well, he's aiming to. Oh, I see. He'll be along here in a while. And I imagine your being a little nice to him will go a long way in our keeping the ranch or not. Yes, I suppose it would. Of course, you're your own boss as always, so uh, it's up to you. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'll do the best I can. Maybe Morley ain't such a good looker as that worthless Tom Talbot you're about to throw yourself away on. But Morley's got money. And that's what it takes nowadays to make a woman happy. I'd think this thing over serious, if I were you. Cheer up, honey. You don't need to give that Morley fellow any more edge than you ever mind to. But what about Dad? Peggy, I've had a chance to win your dad over, but I threw it away. I've had my lesson. I'm through with gambling forever. Yes, that's what you said before. Listen, Peggy, this time I'm meaning it. It's out of my life, just like that. Now, don't worry about that thousand dollars. I'm going after it right now. Oh, but Tom, how can you? I don't know, honey, but I'm going to get it if I have to blast the town wide open. Oh, be careful, Tom. Don't do anything wild. This is one of these times when a man either quits or he fights. I'm fighting. Hello, Ed Larkin. How are you? Hi, Tom. Say, Ed, I've got to raise me a heap of money quick. <laughs> uh, you don't know where there's a rodeo on or some wild horses to be caught, do you? No, I, I'd sure like to help you out, pal, but you're just a day late. Bank robbers. Here's a hat of one of the bank robbers. The initials are T.T. Who's that? Tom Talbot. I recognize him. He went down there around the corner. I am my business proposition. Well, when I decide I want something, I don't wait. I go right out and get it. You and I are alike in that respect. I wonder what would happen if we were ever at cross purposes over something. Well... Why 
fighting like horse thieves. Will you see me to my buggy? Of course. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you so much for the flowers. I'm glad you like them. Thought I'd drop by and take you for a ride. What are you doing tonight? Well, I, uh... Mr. Morley, I've been looking for you. Your bank was just held up. What? The bank? Yeah, I just saw four men pass by, burning up the road. Must have been them. Which way did they go? But well, they turned off up there, into the hills. Thanks. We'll get them. Have you any idea who it was? Only one of them was identified, and that was Tom Talbot. Oh. Well, I'll have to be hurrying back to town. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hey, Luke, Talbert's headed your way. Get your boys out and grab him, and we'll split the reward. Yes. Tom Talbot? No, you darn fool. That's who we're looking for. Well, we were chasing him, but he took to the bottom. Pick him up. Put it in 
in back of you. Come on. Keep your face down there. Keep it under a pocket. Oh. Oh. What's the matter to you? Almost called Talbot. Where is he? Which way did he go? Where's Talbot? How do I know? He told me to keep my face no mud. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alone? Yes, for the moment. Dad's out at the barn. Oh, Tom, why did you do it? That wasn't the way to help us. Honey, of course, you think I robbed the bank after what I said. But I didn't. If I had that money, don't you suppose I'd hand some of it over to you right now? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't. But why have they accused you? They say that you were recognized among the robbers. Oh, that's easy to explain. Sit down, I'll tell you all about it. There's only one way out for me. That's to get a hold of Ed and make him own up that I had nothing to do with the robbery. I'm afraid Ed Larkin will never do that. He might as well confess he's guilty himself. But I've got to clear myself. Your dad will have a hard time with Morley. Morley's a tough man to handle. I'm sure of it, Tom. You hold him off, Peggy. No matter what happens. You wait for me. Mm. I won't let you down. I promise, Tom. Good for nothing. Drop that gun. Oh, Dad, Dad! Show up them hands. You win, Dad. I told you what to expect. If ever you came back here again, I wish you'd have held that gun so I could have blasted you. Oh, Dad, it's all a mistake about the... It's honest it is. He had nothing to... Who's there? Sheriff. Let him in, Peggy. Oh, please, Dad. Let him in, I said. Oh, Sheriff. You're a little late for the reward, but you can take him to jail for me. You're under arrest. I'll keep my promise. Good riddance. Now I hope you'll take my advice and forget him. Not at all. I'm going to hire a good lawyer and do everything I can to help him. Oh, so you think I can't judge a man at my age? I know him better than you do, Dad. You wait and see. Well, we'll see. Darn you, Tom. I'm your lawyer, and I won't let you go into court and plead guilty. It's right kind of you to put up a fight for me, Mr. Cruz. But I'm pleading guilty just the same. In heaven's name, why? I said my say. Now listen, my boy. It's a mighty weak case against you. With your help, I'll sure get you off. 
No, it's no use. All right, then. Go to jail and see how you like it. Therefore, it is the judgment of this court that you be imprisoned for a term of five years. But in consideration of your past good record, the court directs that your sentence be served on the road gang, where your health will not be impaired by confinement. Generally, these things, I'm always forgetting. Of course you are. But I know you shouldn't be wearing them, and I'm going to prove it. I knew you'd keep your end up. By the way, did your dad get the reward? Oh, yes. After your arrest and conviction, why, Morley had to pay it. Then Dad paid it right back to him, and now he's in the clear. <laughs> and Tom, oh, you ought to see the change in him. Why, he's a different man. I hope the change in him includes <laughs> the way he feels about me. Well, of course I told him what you did and why, but he wouldn't believe me. If he were to think any good of me, it wouldn't be a change. <laughs> It'd be a revolution. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lady, but I've got to deliver this prisoner at the road camp by sundown. Listen, I tracked those four men, and they didn't turn up Buckhorn Canyon, as Morley said they did. They went up Black Rock. I'm trailing them again tomorrow. Oh, be careful, Peggy. Don't take any chances. I'm going to get you out of this fix. Now, is there anything I can do for you while you're away? Yes. Take care of my horse. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> Well, young man, let's get going. Get in. What's the matter, Dad? Seem to be caught petting your stock? Petting nothing. I was just looking them over for ticks. You can't fool me. I know you've got the kindest heart in the world. Where'd you get that horse? Oh, we're keeping him for Tom. Five years is a mighty long time to pass your horse for that fellow. I can't see him for what. Tom did for us. Say, he's as guilty as Jesse James. Otherwise. How are you going to do it? I'm taking today. I'll have a...
Water boy. Shorty. Well, for Tom, gee, it's good to see you in here. <laughs> now, is that nice? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, cut that out. No talking on the job. When did you get in? Last night. How'd they treat you? Not bad. Till it tonight. Okay, if I'm alive. I'm in for shooting a tin horn. There's a couple of these pals over there. Hey, what a boy. See you later. Here's our chance to get in with them now. You. Hurry up. Thank you for report to the captain tonight and he'll finish it. Yes, sir. Well, pick up those shovels. You're going down to bury that guy that tried to make a getaway. Come on, get moving. Come on. Sneak down to the hospital tent. Go back before he gets shot. 
I come because I want to square myself with you for what happened today. Listen, Tom, maybe I can help you to get out of here. Oh, it's no use. No use making a break, Shorty. You know what happens. They shoot you down. Ah, you got me wrong. Maybe you can get pardoned or acquitted. Go on, Shorty. What's on your mind? Ed Larkin was drunk one night, and he told me you didn't have anything to do with the robbery. It was a hired job. Morty paid the boys out of his own pocket to cover up a big hole in the bank's cash. That's good to know, Shorty. But unless I could get a hold of Ed and make him tell it in court... Beat it! And Tom, the handwriting in the money bag is identical with Jim Morley's. That certainly checks with what Shorty told me. But we still haven't enough legal evidence to do me any good. It's a question of making Ed Larkin talk somehow. I haven't seen Ed except the day he chased me down the canyon. He and those men must have a hideout somewhere at Black Rock. Sure. And Ed was lookout that day. Did he recognize you? I don't think so. Why? If those men knew how much you had on them already, you wouldn't be safe. Promise me you won't go up there again. I'll do no such thing. If the man who can clear you is hiding up Black Rock, I'm going to find him and get the truth out of him. It's a man's job, Peggy. I'd rather wait for five years than have you get hurt trying to help me. Peggy, please, promise me you won't take any more chances. Time's up. Goodbye, Tom. Peggy, won't you promise me? No. Goodbye. Report back to work. Well, you old horse thing, where'd you steal that outfit? The warden gave it to me for a present. I've been promoted for good conduct. Well, that's fine, Tom. I'm <laughs> glad of it. Come on, give me a load of dirt, you do low-down laborer, so we can have a talk. <laughs> I heard by the grapevine some of the boys figuring on a break today. I don't know a thing about it, except they haven't got one chance in a hundred. But they're taking it. Look. Get going and drive like the devil. You haven't got a chance. Drive or I'll let you have it. Get out of here. Get going. Catch that wagon.
I'm going for a ride, Dad. All right. Well, thanks. Dad. Hi, Sheriff. We're hunting for four outlaws that held up the westbound limbs at last night, and they were seen heading in this direction. Well, they ain't here, Sheriff. Well, I'm not saying that you're harboring them. Just thought maybe you'd heard or seen something of them. No, not a thing. If we do, we'll let you know. Well, there's a big reward out for those men, Miss Peggy. They got away with $50,000 worth of bonds. $50,000? Yeah. I'll be up around Buckhorn Mountain most of the day in case... Say, Tom Talbot broke jail. I'm looking for him, too. And if you see him, you tell him that my advice is that he goes right back where he came from. For if I have to catch him and take him back, it'll mean another year or so for him. Thanks for telling me, Sheriff. If he comes around here, he'll know what to expect. If anything happens, you know where I'll be. men. Always four. It must be the same men that held up Morley's bank. How'd you figure that out? It could be another four. Yes, it could. But, Dad, what good would all those bonds be to the sort of men who would hold up the train if, if they hadn't a way to dispose of them? Mm, maybe there's something to that. Perhaps they've got a crooked banker at the other end. I'm talking about crooked bankers. You've been seeing a lot of Morley lately. I'm not calling him a crooked banker until I can prove he is. Oh, Dad, you heard what the sheriff said about Tom. Now, Peggy, you've got to be careful. I'm riding up Black Rock today. I wanted you to know in case I'm late getting back. You're not going up to see Tom. Oh, of course not. I'm just riding up to see if the stuff followed the water up. Maybe there's no harm in that, but uh, you've got to be careful, Peggy. Remember, you're all I have. Now, Dad, don't you worry. You know where I'm going and when I'm coming back. Thanks. Can I do anything more for you? Uh, not now, sister. Where are you hurt, Ed? A uh, bullet through the lungs. Has anyone gone for a doctor? No. Uh, have coyotes risked their lives for my hide? <laughs> All right, then I'll go for one right now. Ah, uh, no. Uh, You needn't be afraid. I know how you came to be shot. It was during the train robbery. Isn't that so? Uh, uh. Oh, you should have had a doctor while there was hope for you. Oh, don't you realize they're leaving you here to die without one? Yeah. You 
tell us, Sheriff, that, that I confessed a, a train job. A, a, and the guys that were with me were Will Blake, Trigger Hannigan, and Jerky Johnson. Blake, Hannigan, and Johnson. Uh, but who, who was going to handle the bonds for you? Ah, uh, Jim Morley. The guy we, we did the bank job for. He, he's up in the canyon now. Getting out the bonds from... Oh, Ed. For where the boys cashed them. Ed, will you do something else? Uh, will you do something for me and do a fine thing? Uh, Tom Talbot is my friend. You know, he's in prison for that bank robbery. Oh, won't you tell me the truth about it? So Tom can be freed? Yes, I... There's no danger, boys. I know the girl who owns that horse. I'll take care of her. in there. See what you can do for him while I go for a doctor. Why, what's the matter? Better see how he is. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I just came up to check over the forage. Dad thought we might throw some yearlings on those flats. We'd better hurry, Jim. That man's in a bad way. Just a minute. How was he hurt? Did he tell you? No. Uh, he was unconscious. Hmm. He never knew I was there. <laughs> uh, leave me to die, will you? Yeah, you'll all be dying for the rest of your lives. There, there was a gal here. And I told her... All I know about you. <coughs> so he never knew you were here, eh? Well, for an unconscious man, he certainly told you too much for your own good. Get over there. There he goes! Quick, wait! Up! Around those trees, headed for Blackhorn. I don't know why I did this, but thanks. I, I don't know why I did it myself. But uh, Peggy thinks so much of you, I... Uh... Oh, can I see her? Yes, you could if she was here, but she rode up to Black Rock Canyon this morning. On? Yes, after the sheriff said that you escaped. She said, going to clear you right away. Is my horse handy? Right in the corral. Let me a six-gun and some trolls. What? Well, what for? The bank robbers are up that canyon. If she needs help... Glad you told us that. Trigger, 
Go up the canyon and pick off the old man. Oh, no, please don't. Have you seen Miss Peggy? No, I don't know anything about her. Don't lie to me. She's up in the, up the canyon in Morris Shack. Here. Well, you boys keep your eyes peeled. your horse and walk over here. What are you doing here? Why, I came to see your boss. Who do you mean? I... Hey, Molly! One time you don't get away. There's no law against killing an escaped convict.
They're going to give us a rush act. You slip out that window and grab yourself a horse. I leave you. Never mind about me. I'm not going. All right, men. Take care of them. You got here just in time. Well, you can thank your dad for this, Miss Peggy. He rode halfway up Buckhorn Mountain to get me. And now, Tom, you can share in that reward for those train robbers. Oh, Sheriff, you aren't going to take Tom back to jail, are you? Well, I'm sorry, Miss Peggy, but it's the law. But I can swear to a full confession by Ed Larkin, one of the bank robbers. Morley hired him so he could cover up his own crookedness. And I've got what they stole from the bank, just a lot of worthless old papers. Well, in that case, Tom, you sure are ready to pardon. And if you'll be responsible for him, Miss Peggy, I'll leave him here for you to take care of. Looks like he needs it. <laughs> oh, Tom, isn't it wonderful? He said you could cut in on the reward. And now we can start that spread of our own. Thank you. 